Hello, I'm Vojtek Tamar and welcome to part 3 of my tutorial about shooting stars. This is probably the last part uh, of my tutorial about shooting stars and in this part I will focus on processing uh, astrophotos. Well, it isn't typical astrophoto because it's more a landscape photograph with stars in the background. I have it already selected, as you see. Uh, I shot it using 30 seconds exposure at aperture of 1.4 and ISO 100. I used uh, Canon 24mm f1.4 lens. It's a very good lens for landscape photography because it's very fast. And even though the exposure was 30 seconds. Okay. Uh, but back to processing. I have the photo already processed. Uh, you see white balance. I'm being set as shot. Uh, the photo at the moment looks a bit flat uh, because it's raw. So we need to uh, edit it so we can see stars more clearly. First, let's adjust uh, white balance settings. Let's try auto. I don't like it. Daylight, it's too warm. It will be the same for cloudy and shade, which are even warmer. Let's try tungsten and fluorescent. Well, fluorescent is quite close to as shot, but a bit warmer. We can also try adjusting tint a little bit to make the sky a bit more purple. Okay, it looks better, I think. Uh, next thing is to uh, go to profile uh, lens corrections and enable profile uh, corrections in profile tab. Well, vignetting removal will work, but it made the photo unnaturally bright, so I will reduce the strength of it. I think it looks better. Uh, next thing is to apply uh, local adjustments. We will add a graduated filter for this. I will start dragging from top of the photo down. Okay. Uh, will make the sky even more purple. If we were to modify uh, tint for whole image, we will get some uh, weird color here in the beach. Mm. Let's reset contrast and clarity for now. Oh, you see, it looks much better in fact. Uh, so. Let's go back to increasing contrast to 100 and clarity also to 100. So let's try changing it. Okay, looks better. Let, let's leave contrast at 43. <clears throat> Next we'll play with highlights to make them a bit warm, uh, brighter. So the stars are, uh, well, more vivid, more bright. Uh, let's try playing with shadows a little bit. We'll, okay, I think this sky looks better, but let's compare before and after by clicking on this very button here, which will toggle uh, graduated filter. It was before and it is after. Well, the difference is, well, quite amazing, yeah? Maybe the sky is a bit too too purple now. Let's reduce it. Let's say to 26. Click again on this button. <clears throat> okay. Uh, next thing is to go to Photoshop, uh, where we will edit the photo even further. Well, it doesn't look bad at the moment, uh, frankly speaking, uh, but it can be even more striking. Let's go by clicking, uh, right-clicking on the photo and going to edit in, 
embed it in Adobe Photoshop CS. It will load in a, while, uh, in a moment. So here is our photo. Uh, now let's go back to 100 uh, zoom. Uh, and you can clearly see there's quite a lot of noise in the image. So let's uh, replicate our layer by clicking Ctrl J or Command J if you're on Mac, or go to Layer, Replicate Layer, and we will name it Denoised because we'll apply apply uh, denoising. Okay, now go to Filter, Topaz, Denoise. Uh, and let's try different settings. Raw light test. Much better. Raw light. Not much difference. Uh, well, it looks much better now, but there is still some noise which can be removed in a further. So we'll increase strength to, let's say, 0 0.11. Mm, 0 0.13 maybe. Okay, uh, it's much better now. Uh, we can also uh, check Luma. There is still some noise, so we'll increase to 0 0.40 and see what happens. 0 0.50. Okay, let's leave it as it is. Also, let's go back down. As you see, there is there uh, there wasn't much uh, noise. In the original image in this part. Okay, uh, after clicking OK, the plugin is processing the image, is denoising it. It will take some time. Next, we will uh, duplicate our layer again with Ctrl J. We will name it Adjusted, and we will go to Filter, Topaz, Adjust to apply some adjustments. We can try different presets: Brilliant Warm, Cool Tone. Uh, it's pretty nice. Total Light, uh, Highlight Recovery, Low Key. Loki too. Let's switch, uh, go back to Loki for a moment. As you see, uh, the stars are emphasized here are pretty nicely. Let's compare with before. You can press space on your keyboard to switch between before and after. Okay, you see. Uh, the stars are uh, nicely emphasized here, and, uh, but the bottom part is much too bright. Uh, so we will go back to local adjustment brush out. Uh, we will make sure that this part isn't affected. Uh, for this, we we select brush out, which means um, uh, disabling uh, disabling effect uh, for part of the image. Image. We'll set opacity to OK, and we'll paint uh, one number. On here, as you see, the effect is being removed. It's very useful. Okay, let's paint over the clouds here as well. Just they look very, very bright, thus ruining a bit the feeling. Okay, it's much better. I think. Uh, let's compare with before and after. Maybe a bit more here. Okay. That, well, not really good. 
uh, let's reduce opacity to zero. Okay. Let's erase a bit because we painted a bit too much. And brush out again. Okay, very nice. Uh, I will show you also my preset for shooting stars. It's called Astrophoto. It looks like this. Before, after, before, after. Uh, we'll adjust it a little bit. Mm. Let's make it maybe brighter. Not that bright. Uh, protect highlights, uh, reduce it. Okay. Uh, let's play with contrast a little bit. Reducing it. Okay. It's before and it's after. Uh, it's, uh, as you can see, I use pretty big adaptive exposure value. Uh, let's play with other values as well. Well, it looks artificial at this point, at 0 0.82, but when you put it at 0 0.14, for instance, uh, the stars are hardly visible. So let's go back to uh, 0 0.55, let's, let's say. You can also play with regions number. Uh, regions number tell how local the adjustment is. If it's at 1, the, the adjustment is globally applied to the image. And when it's 50, the, there are 50 regions across the image. I like 20, uh, 12 uh, value, because it often produces quite natural results. Okay, let's go back, uh, go to colors tab now. Uh, Let's play with saturation boost, maybe decrease it a little bit, not that much. Let, let's leave it at 1.08. We can also check curve tool to add some global contrast. Light contrast, medium contrast, well, no, it's, it's the right. So let's add some uh, light contrast. Let's go to finishing touches now. Uh, warmth is checked, it's at 0 0.05. I can increase it, but it's become too warm for me. Uh, let's decrease it to zero, uh, minus 0 0.12. And let's click OK to apply adjustments. Now let's compare uh, this version with previous version by clicking this uh, eye icon. It's before and it's after. Well, the difference is amazing. But it's not the end of uh, changes we're going to apply. Uh, one more thing is to create a um, dodge and burn layer. Uh, and we will dodge and burn a little bit uh, the stars around here to make them uh, more visible, more 3D, let's say. Uh, we could use dodge and burn tools from tools palette, but the problem is uh, they are destructive. So you can't go easily back to, to your previous state. Uh, so the thing I prefer is to create new layer Sorry, new layer. Uh, let's name it Dodge and Burn. And we will use Soft Light mode. And we will fill with Soft Light neutral color. As you can see, well, well there is there is nothing. The, the new layer is invisible. That's because this medium gray color is neutral to soft light uh, blending mode. It means it's transparent for it. 
the same as normal transparent color for normal blending mode. But if you change blending mode to normal, you will see how your layer looks. It's great. But let's change it back to soft light. Now, select your brush tool. Uh, make sure to use very soft brush. And let's reduce flow to, let's say, 2%. Also, for now, uh, make sure uh, your foreground color, uh, color is white. Zoom in and decrease uh, radi radius of your brush. Now, you can, we will paint over broad, uh, bright areas here with white uh, brush, making them uh, brighter, and we'll paint with uh, black brush uh, over areas here to make them darker. Okay, so let's paint with uh, white brush for a while. We want to, to make the galaxy, the Milky Way, more visible in the sky. Let's paint over here because there are also some, some part of the galaxy, although not that clearly visible, we'll make them uh, easier to see. Okay, let's zoom a little bit. Uh, painting with uh, this method is easy. Uh, but it uh, takes some time to, to get good results. Uh, okay, now no paint, switch to a black brush and paint here. Okay, the galaxy is clearly visible now, I think. Uh, you can compare the before and after by uh, switching this layer off and on. The difference is striking. Uh, as you see, let's oops, let's paint uh, with white over here. Let's increase brush and maybe paint a little bit over here, over there. Okay. Uh, okay, that's great. Uh, let's toggle it and back. Quite nice. Uh, one more thing which we can do is to increase, uh, well, to change the hue uh, of the sky. Let's let's add like color balance layer, adjustment layer. Uh, Zoom out a little bit so we can see whole image. Uh, and let's play with different settings, make maybe more magenta, more blower, maybe. Okay. You see the difference? It's before and it's after. Uh, the sky is more more blue, more purple now. Uh, than it was before. The colors are uh, cooler. Uh, personally, I like it. Mm. Okay, I think uh, that's all. I hope you liked it. Thank you and until next time.